Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to section 2, part 5, which is how to export high definition WAV files in FL Studio. Now, same as MP3 files, it's very simple. So, let's go here into FL Studio. Now, this is the song we've done. I'm gonna show you another part of this. I'm drinking on this Hennessy. I used up all my energy. So as you can see, you know, I'm using pretty cool effects in this song. Now I want this song to sound good, so I wanted to export it in high definition WAV file. So here we would, um, you know, WAV files are used by sound engineers, and they're usually used and uploaded in a higher definition bitrate. So to, in order for us to do this right, we need to here go in FL Studio at the top and click on File. And then go on Export and select WAV. Now you can press Ctrl and R on your keyboard to do the same procedure but I just prefer doing it this way. So click on WAV file and then we will name the song. So I'm gonna again export this into my path folder as a WAV file and I'm gonna say my new song. Usually you would name your song for example um, I would call this um, I don't know let's say um, Holiday and then you know path beats and then no tags so I've got no tags on it if this is a B if it is another B you would put tags or something but I'm just putting you know just an example and then we click on save over here so we click on save and we get the same settings we did for mp3 file notice here at the top how automatically it's already selected that WAV file settings now this is really cool because we know that we are exporting WAV file not an mp3 file right so simple <laughs> now exporting this in WAV file is pretty cool so now notice how the settings over here have changed we are no longer changing the bitrate that is kind of like diffuse itself the thing that's now become available to us is the bitrate now you want to export this in the highest possible bitrate so when you drop down on this okay you can possibly do 32 bit float now i don't like doing it in in the floating point format because it kind of seemed to differ a little bit. So 24 bit is industry standard, very high definition. You're looking at something between 60, like 50 to 60 megabytes, you know, for one kind of track. Depends on the, obviously the VST plugins can depend, but usually 30 megabytes and upwards per track. And that is so much details in there that anyone, any sound engineer can do a lot of things. So what we, we would do on here is we would select 24-bit, usually that comes in 16-bit in FL Studio as the default settings, you would change that to 24-bit to get the highest kind of settings output. Again, leave it at stereo and then down here you want to select 512 point sync. Now we've explained why we want to sync it 512. If you look at part 4 of this tutorial, as you know, we run these tutorials here on our website and we are looking at part you know part five of this tutorial the link is more description if you want to come to this page now okay so the reason we're running this is you know I've explained in part four of this section two why we need to put it at 512 sync so we get higher kind of syncing and best quality output possible leave that on um, high quality for all plugins because we want the best quality Disable maximum polypony, you can leave that on. And then differing, just make sure that's turned off. And down here, okay, you don't need to worry about anything else. Usually you would have the split mixer um, deselected like that. So you have the save to play with playlist markers, trim PDC silence. So this is if you want to like save any markers that you may have, like you may place here on a playlist. Uh, it will export with the markers for the sound engineer to understand what is what and what is where you know you will this is the PDC silence so you can leave this because obviously here at the end it tells you do you want to cut the tail or leave it so you just usually just cut the remainder and here just leave this enabled all these three okay obviously you want to enable the effect and you want to enable the insert effects because if you without these it would the track wouldn't have any effects on unless you want to export without effect for the sound engineer 
you wouldn't you know this is this comes very handy in part six of this tutorial where we will talk more about how we can turn off and enable the effects on the actual um stems for the sound engineer to export now okay so going back to this this is pretty much it looking over here that is pretty much all the settings you guys will need here in our studio to get that correct and simple as that you will just click on start and here at the top it tells you the, the file size that this file will be which is 16 megabytes that's 2 minutes and 60 megabytes obviously if you select 16 bit that goes halfway now 29 megabytes 29292kib and obviously 32 float is still giving us the same size you know because 24 bit is usually the highest quality but it's trying to export it in the float that's why I don't usually use it because 24 bit it is music industry standard bit rate like VAF bit def you can ever get so just stick to that click on start and this will take some time so I'm gonna click start and just let it run and there we go <laughs> so it didn't take that long actually that thing was quite faster than the mp3 encoder which is pretty cool now if you look over here in my folder i will see that i've got the track here holiday path beats when i right click on it properties and i go on details i can now see that this is 2116 kbps so don't forget the mp3 that we was using is 312 kbps now looking over here this file is 2,011 kbps you can see that is almost like times six or seven of the quality of the mp3 so this is very high definition file with 42 megabytes on the file size and this is a very high definition VAF file which you can use in you know uh, like movie productions, ex importing it into um, like After Effects, Adobe, you know, Adobe Director or Final Cut. If you're doing video editing, you want to use the highest quality sound so then you can export it in a different kind of quality sound that you require. But this is how you actually export the high quality MAV file. Now let's go and head over to part six of this tutorial on how to export project stems which is basically all the project files and stems all the track outs of different tracks that we've got over here in FL Studio like everything else obviously if you have the kicks the snares hi-hats you would export everything at once so we're running through all these tutorials also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check below in the video for all the other tutorials on this page and yeah let's go and head over to part six of this section two on the introduction on how to export the um, high definition stems and high definition kind of project track outs in FL Studio.